Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, quick, uh, quick video. Uh, several of you guys have some questions on the um, techniques I use. And again, I haven't shown a video. I haven't made a video in a while. This has been crazy busy and it's super hot down here. It's like 110 today. Anyway, you guys were asking me about some of the rounded trim work I do on some of my structures. So what I do is I've made a little sample piece here. I don't know if you can see that, but I've rounded some some bits off. All I do is I'll take whatever size, and you can use almost any size. I've got several different sizes I use. And uh, go to your pawn shop and find some wood files because you can get some beveled, some uh, beveled ones, some square ones, some round ones. Uh, works perfect on styrofoam. Um, also, get some wood dowels of different sizes because basically what you do is you, you cut off a little piece of uh, sandpaper and I always start off with maybe an 80 grit and if you're using pink or purple or blue styrofoam I would start off with a 100 grit uh, maybe a 120 grit uh, but this is an 80 grit so what I do is I'll just do is I'll just wrap this tightly so you have that around and this is again this is a quick added thing where if you want a, another level of detail on your uh, item, whatever you're cutting, go ahead and draw you some baselines. So basically, this is a column or trim work on a building. So I want to keep it within these two lines. So what I do is I'll take this and I'll set it right in the center and I'll just start going up and down. All the way up. And start off with the weight of your hand first because once you start that trench and stay within the lines if you can and it's going to take you a couple of times but you can go as deep as you want and, and rotate that sandpaper because you're going to blow it off but rotate that sandpaper a little bit as you're sanding but go all the way up and down whatever you're working on and that'll give you a uniform level there but I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing but anyway but uh, this basically sands out a rounded contour out of that styrofoam. And you can go as deep as you want to go, but as you can see, I've gotten a little bit over my lines. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll, I'll, I'll sharpie back in that line because that line will come in handy for added detail. So once you get your, once you get your groove in there, and again, this could be a, 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 a side of a building, or uh, some trim that runs along the bottom, um, whatever. Uh, but what I actually do is I'll take my X-Acto knife and I'll pinch up on the blade and I'll run that blade literally an eighth of an inch down that Sharpie line. And again, this is not gonna be straight because I'm, I'm holding it in front of me like that. And then I'll come back in at a side angle and almost do a 90 degree and cut all that out. And basically this just adds another feature. If you could see, it adds a little bevel with your rounded uh, trim work. So it just, just adds another feature. And this is simple. And again, rounded uh, files, you can, you can run that file across that styrofoam and, and, and turn that file as you're filing and that'll give you a nice rounded works on your square files too so if you want to do some trim work that's got square start off with the, the point what you want to do is you, you want to start off with the point and then slowly turn it sideways and what that does, it gives you a nice, and again, keep turning it. Lift it out and turn it, and that'll give you a squared. But also, when you do your, your any anything, you can always go your grit, your, your hardest grit first, and then come back with a smoother grit. So when you, after you do whatever you're going to do, come back with a smoother grit, wrap it around your, uh, your tool there, and run it up and down. And it works after you prime it too, because I use a, a, an acrylic house paint primer. And I can go back down and, and smooth that out. And every time I add another layer of primer, it just fills in and smooths everything out. So uh, 
basically, uh, let me find my piece of work that I've been working on. This is a 1 6 scale street scene I'm doing. I did that right there. It's just a, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a, a water runoff that runs across the road. I just took my PVC wrapped in sandpaper and just ran it across there after I drew my Sharpie line. So anyway, that's a quick little video of just some of the stuff I use and easy techniques you can do uh, that you don't have to go out and buy any tools. Like I said, go to the pawn shop. They always got files, all different shapes and sizes of files uh, that you can use in contouring and shaping your, your uh, styrofoam. So anyway, uh, this is basically uh, what I have right now. And again, I keep it simple. I don't get all elaborate. Uh, and if you want to go elaborate, definitely these these are the skills you can use here to step up and and uh, make your work more efficient. So uh, anyway, I appreciate it, and I'm going to try to hit another video later this week. Thanks.